Well, I'm very excited to welcome you all here to Ipswich. Uh, this is a very special place for us. It's a place that our family would often visit throughout our childhood. Uh, we would walk the beaches and play some lawn games. We would go dig up some clams and make some bonfires, as well as getting into the usual childhood mischief. Um, on top of all of these childhood memories, um, Abby, about three years ago, uh, officiated a small ceremony for my partner Lauren and I uh, in this very spot. Uh, when Abby and Nikhil asked me if I was willing to officiate their wedding, I was reminded of the familiar feeling of uh, sibling payback. Melissa and I are going to co-toast coast uh, this evening. I like to think I was there for the very start of their relationship. So this is January 2021. I just come back home from visiting family for the holidays. And I remember it very vividly. Abby and I are sitting on this blue floral couch, catching each other up on our lives, on our dating adventures as of late when she tells me that there's this guy that she matched with, but that she kind of let the conversation fizzle, which I guess is not that uncommon for dating apps. But what is uncommon is that she had not been able to stop thinking about him. Um, fast forward to February, I meet Nikhil for the first time, and there are two things that really struck me. Um, so the first is I thought that I had been invited to Karen and Eddie's house for dinner, um, but it turned out to actually be a dad joke jazz concert featuring Abby and Nikhil. And it was like one of those moments where you're like, man, like when two people are right for each other, there's just like a frequency that they're on and like, like the rest of us weren't on it. Uh, it was, it was very much just the two of them. Yeah, Trevor's wife Lauren did all of that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm in software and I wear flip flops to work and a t-shirt. I am the Hill's younger sister by nine years and no, we do not have any other siblings. <laughs> I remember Nikhil calling me, gushing about this girl that he had gone out with a couple times, uh, telling my boyfriend and I about her and, you know, like asking me for advice of all people. <laughs> And I remember the first time that I met Abby. It was a snowy spring. We were trapped in my brother's old town home. Um, and she had made the most incredible scones I had ever had in my life, these orange cranberry scones. And I remember taking this first bite of the scone and tasting all the sweetness and the tanginess of the scone and thinking to myself as the sun's pulling through the window, this is going to be good. <laughs> On our first date, we went for a walk in Washington Park. It was a freezing blizzard. <laughs> and despite the horizontal snow, we circled the park three times, almost 10 miles. What finally separated us was not the looming prospect of frostbite, but it was the knowledge that you were late for an estate sale. <laughs> Talking to you was so natural. I found myself drawn to your openness, to trying new outdoor activities, and the deep affection you showed when discussing friends and family, and your brother Trevor. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you. You look handsome. There's a deep sense of love I've felt for you from the very beginning. Feeling so happy with you in my life and when I'm around you. I love what my life is with you. 
and who I get to be with you by my side. I love bicycling together in the evenings, taking the trail along the river and watching the sunset behind the mountains. I love seeing you play with Lola, listening to you giggle and wondering which one of you is having more fun. Very excited. I worked, I rewrote my vows again. <laughs> again? <laughs> yeah. What? They said they were perfect. Your hands are clammy. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a little nervous. Having Nikhil are a really great reminder of a couple of things. The first is, if you ever have that nagging thought, there's just something that you can't get out of your mind, something that you want to do, you should do it because you have no idea what kind of life-changing joy could be at the other end of that decision. And the second is that when you're in the right relationship, when you meet the right person, it's effortless. And I think anybody here who spent more than just a few minutes with Abby and Nikhil would agree, these are two people who just belong together. Nikhil and Abby have this air about them. The way they talk to each other ought to be studied by psychologists all over the world. They're like the ocean and the moon, as cliche as it sounds. <laughs> They can be fun and playful, but they can also be so steady and peaceful. They have this gravitational pull that could reach over hundreds of thousands of miles, and they have a love that can withstand a million lifetimes. I vow to always be there to take care of you, especially when you're unwell. I vow to be your support and greatest cheerleader as we overcome life's many hurdles. I vow to be an attentive listener, not interrupt, validate your experiences and emotions, and not offer unsolicited advice. <laughs> Over the years, I know you'll grow and change, and I promise to continue learning who you are and how to be a great partner to you. I promise to be grateful for you, to not take you for granted. I promise to share my tiramisu with you <laughs> and all of the other wonderful things in life. I promise to ask you if you get it if you don't laugh at my terrible puns. <laughs> I promise to nurture you when you're sick and push you when you're stuck. I promise to love every piece of you unconditionally. I'm so pleased to present the newlyweds, Abby and Nikhil. Unlike the time, life is incredibly unpredictable. But Abby and Nikhil, whatever your future holds, for all of your memories, and for everybody that you've had along the way, I know that it's going to be good. So, for all of that, <laughs> I love you, we're incredibly proud of you, and I can't wait to see what's next. So raise your glasses. And I'd like to toast to a lifetime of happiness, a lifetime of fun, a lifetime of adventure, and a lifetime of love. Cheers! Rarest gifts, our hardest to